So I decided to make a video about empaths because, well, first of all, I am an empath and it took me, fuck, I'm almost 28. No, sorry. I'm almost 29. <laughs> Looking 23. Um, <laughs> it took me literally 28 years of my life to figure out what an empath is and I am getting up there to 29 close to 29 and I just feel like because my channel is about me and my journey and what I'm experiencing and I think that this information will be helpful to some people so so empaths are born for the most part we are born in a family that doesn't really understand us because empaths are people that feel very 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 deep like from the deepest part of our soul and that can be very very um confusing for a lot of people because not not necessarily confusing for other people but more so confusing for the empath because we just want to be understood so as children we tend to be so misunderstood we tend to be you know we are very reactive because we're very emotional where we feel everything we feel the emotions so intensely and um we and that is a very frustrating thing for a child so in my own personal experience being born in a family that doesn't feel as deep as i do about anything i just felt so misunderstood so my way of dealing with that was to lash out or be very emotional um you know expressive very expressive that's my Aries moon. I don't know for a lot of empaths how they dealt with their emotions, but I just, I do know that you could either go one way. You can be very expressive with your emotions or you can close off with your emotions. Um, for me, I was expressive with my emotions and a lot of people would view that as weak, right? So I dealt with this um, unworthiness issue because nobody really understood what the fuck I was feeling or thinking because I wasn't able to express it to have somebody I wasn't able to express it in a way that people would connect and understand you know I love my parents I love them love 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 them they love 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 me but they just don't feel as deep as a empath as myself because they are not empaths everybody is an empath but they're just on it on this the spectrum scale like on the scale they're definitely not as deep as me so I'm a highly sensitive empath so not only do I feel the emotions of myself but I feel the emotions of other people around me I feel energy very intensely um, I can pick up on energy I can read energy and this has been with me my whole life so being with this unworthiness issue because nobody really understood me it's been a very difficult journey. Most empaths have difficult journeys. So this unworthiness and um, this empath ability to feel on the deepest level um, of things where you want to love and you want to heal and you want to help people, having this unworthiness issue has put you or myself kind of in a position to be taken for granted by a lot of people for taking advantage of for taking my kindness as weakness for bullying um not respected in so many type of ways because you put other people before you and that's been the lifelong journey for the empath for myself is to learn my self-worth right and it's <laughs> taken me 28 years to figure it out i never felt like it fit in anywhere and it's because i didn't i didn't fit in anywhere i 
was always trying to please everybody because of this unworthiness wound and because I feel so intense and deep it's like this feeling of like I'm not good enough right and as I've gone through my life it's been the reoccurring lessons to figure out how to love myself it's taken me 28 years to figure it out <laughs> and to realize that the power that we have as empaths it can be easily taken advantage of but it can also give you a lot of power like psychically you can't fuck with an empath but it takes the empath to be able to understand their own power and tap into their um, their wholeness and to give the power to their intuition to listen to their intuition right because with this unworthiness wound we're always questioning ourselves we're questioning our intuition and once you harness this the power within yourself as as the empath it's like a whole nother level of power because our intuition is so bang on right we're super psychic people can't manipulate us we we can tell when someone's lying we can feel the energy in the room right it's like i'll know when something's off i i'm a born loner empaths tend to be born loners um i really enjoy my time alone because being so energetically sensitive i don't just take on the energy of myself i take on the energy of the people around me especially the people that I love and care for, I can feel their energy very intensely. Um, so I tend to need a lot of time by myself and I enjoy my time alone. The hardest thing for me as an empath has been to discover this balance because of my unworthiness wound. If you're an empath that's born in a family that gives you kind of like an understanding of yourself and like gives you the self-worth and the self-love then you most likely have a much easier time having um, balance much easier time finding like balance within yourself um, for me it's been like a 28 year journey to find this balance right <laughs> really it's really been <laughs> it's been wild but I wouldn't change it for anything because I've learned so many lessons and I'm wise beyond wise as fuck. I'm wise beyond my years. You know, I can sit down and have a conversation with anyone and it's because of my my journey and what I've experienced and what I've learned about myself, you know. We can't be manipulated. It's really hard to, for us to be manipulated because we see through we see through people literally we see everything um that's why we can't be we we know when someone's lying like through their words through their body language through through their energy through the phone through a text message it's like our psychic intuition our intuition is so bang on um i have dreams i get answers in my dreams so you if you're an empath you might you might um connect with that as well i can walk into a room and feel the toxic energy i can feel the toxic energy of people like i can be sitting beside somebody and be like this person is like a vampire sucking my energy and it's draining when we love somebody their energy is very strongly felt um, I can feel my love. I can feel his energy. Um, I also have dreams about him. Even though we aren't in contact, it's like I feel him and what he's going through and it's kind of weird. Sometimes I'm I'm still learning how to decipher between what is my energy and what is somebody else's energy because sometimes it'll come out of nowhere and I'll be hit with like this 
wave of energy of like sadness or anxiety or just out of nowhere and I'm like what the fuck I was just fine like where is this coming from and I'll like freak out and for the most part I can tell when it's not mine but that's still a work in progress I'm new to this whole understanding of myself you know so it is definitely a blessing and a curse I think I mean I don't know any other way I'm so unique us empaths are very unique people um I just know that a lot of people look at me like what is she doing or why is she acting this way you know because I tend to come off very aloof like kind of all over the place people don't really understand it but it's because because I feel things so deep right so it's just like where a normal person will build a relationship with somebody and not be able to see through all the bullshit me (sighs) I see through everything and it's like I don't even want to give my energy away at that like I don't even waste my fucking time and that's another reason why most empaths um don't settle down in relationships till a bit later in their life because we don't put up bullshit I have never had a boyfriend before because I don't put up bullshit and I also like I've met so many guys that have taken me on dates and this and that and really tried you know and I could have been wifed up so long ago but it's because it didn't feel right because I we live from our soul I live from my soul right and the connection was never there it just never felt right I don't want to waste somebody's time right I don't want to waste somebody's time I don't want to waste my time we're not the type of people that like gradually like gradually over time like fall in love with somebody or like somebody because we are so psychic and so energetically connected to our surroundings and to people that we'll know right away if somebody is for us or if they're not and so it is what it is (laughs) um took me a really long time to realize how amazing I am and to realize the power that I possess as an empath so if you're an empath and you're watching this I totally understand what it's like to be like to feel like you're an alien pretty much you know in your own family in your school in your workplace um we we have a very unique energy about us right And we know things, we know so much that people, you know, um, my workplace and just, I feel like every situation that I've really been in in my life, it's like, because I didn't understand my power, it's been very difficult. And being that I feel things from the deepest part of my soul, it's not just been sort of difficult. It's been extremely fucking difficult. So, if you're an empath, <laughs> you feel like an alien, I totally get it. You're, you're not alone. And not only that you're not alone, but you're so fucking unique. You're so special. You're so amazing. And when you can find the balance within yourself, right? Because we are empaths, we feel so intensely and we tend to question ourselves a lot. When you can find, you can find the power and the balance within yourself to listen to your intuition because our intuition is always bang on. It does not sway. It does not need no questioning. It is always right. That is our power, right? We are, I always say I'm halfway between here and heaven because as an empath, we are halfway between here and heaven. We're in that in-between dimension where we feel things that not the normal person can feel. 
when you can find that balance and that um, trust for yourself and your intuition, you will be at a whole different level in your life. And like I said, it's taken me 28 years to figure this out. I have always felt so fucking alone in my life. Not lonely, but alone. And finding this trust in myself has has made me a whole new person. It has brought me clarity. It's brought me closer to God, the higher power, Allah, whatever you want to call him or her. It's given me purpose. Because before I was always questioning everything. I was questioning myself. I had this unworthiness wound where I didn't feel good enough. And it was like, I got to please everybody. I got to be for everybody. I got to do this. I got to do that. And now that I have this full trust for myself it's like I'm just like unbreakable I'm unbreakable I'm unstoppable I'm amazing and when we are when we realize this this power that we have us empaths we're here for such a bigger purpose right we're not just here to be regular people. We're not. We're basically earth angels. And there was always something about me, right? And I'm sure if you're watching this, you're an empath. There's always been something about us. But it wasn't until I harnessed the, the trust and um, understanding of what it is to be an empath and the power that I possess that that I really was at a different energetic level am at a different energetic level and I just feel so grateful to be who I am despite all the years of being misunderstood and being hurt and sad and um, lonely I am I'm so grateful to be an empath one last thing um, we are easily targeted individuals because of our higher energetic frequency, um, being that we're closer to God, the, the, the higher power of the universe. Um, our energy tends to be at a higher frequency. And so we are easily targeted because we stand out energetically. We just stand out. So don't let it affect you, right? That's that's mastering yourself that's mastering the empath is not letting it affect you and staying in your balance and realizing your power and realizing how amazing you are and I know like I said 28 years until I figured it out so I hope that whoever's watching this it doesn't take you as long as it took me because you're amazing and I'm sending you love <laughs>